Welcome to the Settings module. My name is Jamie, and in this video I'll be illustrating some of the most important aspects of the Settings component of the 4X DAT. Let's get started. Once we've logged into our software, we're presented with the main window. This window is our map to various modules within the software. Perhaps the best place to start is with the Settings window. Once you've determined a few basic preferences, you'll typically not need to return to this module often, but at this stage it's critical to start here. The settings window allows you to color customize the look of your Forex DAT. This will help you better identify the various types of trades the Forex DAT is performing, especially when using more than one type of harvester. Don't be concerned if you're not familiar with the term harvester just yet. We'll be addressing harvesters in a later video. You may find it helpful to set the color of each trading operation to your own preference in order to help you remember how your trades are being executed. As you can see, you can select the background color of the various types of trades for better trade identification, as well as color customize individual software windows. This part is really pretty self-explanatory, so I'll let you play with it on your own time. Color changes take effect immediately, meaning that you do not need to exit the software in order for the changes to take effect. The settings window is also where we find one of our most important trading parameters, the size of the lots we're trading. The Forex stat will enable us to trade standard lots, where each single lot is worth 100,000 units of the currency we're trading, mini lots worth 10,000 units of the traded currency, or even micro lots, which are 1,000 units of the currency we're trading. I should note that current U.S. regulations restrict leverage in the currency markets to a margin of 50 to 1. So, for example, if you were trading standard lots of pound dollar, you would have to post a margin of 2,000 pounds for every lot traded. Similarly, to trade one mini lot, you'd have to put up a margin of 200 pounds. And finally, one micro lot would require a margin of 20 pounds. It should be noted that in any currency pair, the primary currency or the currency listed first in a currency pair, is the basis for the required margin. When considering how margin is applied in our trading, it becomes pretty obvious that the selection of the size, or the type of lots traded, will be determined by the size of your trading account. Please note that as overtrading is a very common mistake made by even the most experienced traders, one must be cautious to select the appropriate lot size. An account of less than 10,000 US dollars should generally be only used to trade micro lots. An account of $250,000 or less should be used to trade mini lots. And only trading accounts of $250,000 or more should be used for standard lot trading. It's important to note that the software's default selection is mini lots. You'll see it's grayed out here in this demonstration because I'm using a demo account here. If you'd like to change this selection, you must contact us so that together we can make sure that making this change will not adversely impact one of your existing trade strategies. This deliberate step is intended to eliminate accidental trades at unintended lot sizes, as the trader is forced to make a conscious decision to change the size of the lots traded before placing trades or building and executing a trading strategy. Let's turn our attention now to a very important feature of the Forex DAT that we call the Stealth Mode. Some brokers have recently begun to take margin for every order that's being placed, even before it's executed. This can be a problem in that, if you're placing many orders, it can eat up a lot of margin, even if those orders aren't being executed. This could lead to a situation where you can't even place a trade because all of your margin has been eaten up by working orders, or in other words, orders that are awaiting execution. This problem has been solved in the software with the creation of the Stealth Mode. Stealth Mode may be found and switched either on or off within the Settings window. When switched on, the software will continue to manage trades and place new working orders. However, these working orders will not be visible to your broker until such time that they're ready to be executed. We are particularly proud of this feature. This concludes the basic settings tutorial. Thanks for watching. There's still so much more to cover. If you're ready, please select the next video in our series entitled Trends Module, where I'll be explaining one of the software's most powerful features.